So you have the MS2 Pro from Bamboo, but does it feel like a disgruntled employee who doesn't want to come to work? Let's give it a spa day. We'll exfoliate those rollers, iron out those wrinkles, unkink those tubes, and get her feeling just like new. Let's get into it. Alright, time for the AMS2 Pro to slip into its spot robe. We're starting with a careful disassembly. Take your time here. The goal is calm, controlled, and glorious. Time to give our filament a little vacation. We're popping out all the spools so we don't have any surprise reloads or runaway noodles while we're working. And a quick blow dry to clear debris. Go ahead and remove the rollers one by one. As you pull them out, spin each one between your fingers and check for grit, resistance, or anything that feels off. The smoother these rollers are, the smoother your AMS runs. Let's check the gears next. These tiny teeth do all the real work behind the scenes, so give them a good visual inspection. Look for debris packed between the teeth, shining worn spots, or anything that looks out of alignment. Time to freshen up the hall sensors. Blowing away any fine dust that settle in or around them, keeping the airflow gentle. This tiny component plays a big role in keeping your AMS feeling balanced. Now it's tray removal time, but don't worry, this step is optional. Start by removing these two screws. Think of it like the deluxe spa package. If your AMS sounds normal, you can skip ahead. Now go to the back of the AMS unit and exfoliate this little tab. We're removing the tray because our heater fan had been making a weird noise, so we wanted to peek underneath. If your AMS sounds normal, you can skip ahead. So disconnect the cables in this spot. Just a tiny wiggle and they'll release. Take your time, these connectors are small and we don't want to stress the pins. Be careful around this board. It's packed with sensitive electronics. One wrong move here can take it out. Trust us, we learned the hard way. Freshen up the bottom of the enclosure with a gentle blowout. Dust likes to hide down here, so clear it out now. Comment if you've run into any AMS quirks or found solutions we didn't cover. You all had some great suggestions last time, and we loved to hear more. The real reason we pull out the tray? The fans ate a hairball. Yep, just like one of our cats, except this time, it was the AMS doing the coffin. Tap like and leave a comment. Help us keep the AMS2 Pro purring like our cats. Gently here. This little bottom tab has big I'm gonna ruin your spa day energy. It grabbed our power board once, and that's when our horror story began. This hall sensor part slides under the front lip, so go easy here. Let it glide in gracefully. This is spa day, not a wrestling match. Now let's give these cables a nice, gentle reunion. Line them up and push them straight in. They click back together like they missed each other. As the tray settles into its cozy spot, it's time to reinsert the screws. Give them a nice, calm, snug tightening. Spa day isn't the time to over torque. Alright, next up is our PTFE tube section. These tubes are basically the highways your filament travels through, so keeping them in good shape is crucial. You can pull each tube out going straight down from the connector. Right here, this is what we're talking about. This tube is developed to split along the side. It starts small, but once it opens up like this, filament can snag, grind, or even refuse to load. This is one of the most common AMS headaches, and spotting it early saves you a lot of frustration. Now if you find a tube like this, don't even think twice. Replace it. PTFE tubes are inexpensive and swapping them out keeps your filament path buttery smooth. Just measure, cut a fresh piece, and make sure the ends are perfectly clean and square. Once your new tube is ready, reconnect it by firmly pressing it back into the coupler. Now here's a great reinsertion tip that makes life a whole lot easier. Before seating the tube back into the housing, gently curve the tube upward. That slight upward arc helps guide the tube into the channel and lets it slide into place nice and easy instead of fighting you. The best parts of these videos is everything you all bring to the table. Your tips, tricks, and experiences help everyone in the community, not just us. So if there's something that's helped you keep your AMS running smooth, share it in the comments. Someone out there will benefit from it. Now let's give these rollers a proper spot A cleanse. Use a soft brush or a gentle burst of air to clean out any dust, filament crumbs, or buildup sitting along the edges. Each roller should spin freely with no grinding or hesitation. If you've got one that feels rough or sticks, go ahead and replace it. Bad rollers can cause feeding issues like you'll never imagine. A fresh set drops right in. Just line up the axle points, press them into their slots until they settle smoothly. Real hack isn't any single trick. It's compiling all this for you in one simple walkthrough. That way you can skip the trial and error and get straight to smooth, reliable, glorious printing. If you got more ideas for the videos like this, drop them in the comments. What would you rather see? First, P1S maintenance, a full A1 tune-up, or A1 mini spot A. And insert, press the PTFE2 button to lock it in. If you're looking for a real hack, here it is. The MS2 Pro doesn't include a desk and tray at all. You've got to print one. We printed ours in Sunloo Pet G from K2 Kevin. Links down below, and yes, there's a Sunloo filament discount code. Go on, be glorious.
All right, that's how we do our general maintenance on our AMS2 Pro. If you have any suggestions on how we can improve that workflow, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. If you want to check out our cool accessories for tools for 3D printers, you can check out the video here. And until next time, be glorious.